Alright, so today I'm going to show you how you can use OneSearch, which is our library's discovery service. Discovery service is just library speak for a really big database that attempts to collect as many of a library's resources in one spot, one searchable interface. So that's what OneSearch does. Uh, we have over 300 different databases, and last I checked, OneSearch searches about a third of those. So it's a, a very large database that you can use to start, begin your research um, when you maybe don't know what specialized database you might need to use. You can typically find something on your topic when you use OneSearch. All right, so OneSearch is right in the middle of the library's homepage. There's a search bar right there. There are a few limits that you can set on your search from the basic search here. For instance, you can only get full text items or only peer-reviewed journals or books and other materials from our library catalog. However, if you need additional limits, uh, you can use the advanced search here, which provides a few other ways to limit your search. It also has more than one search box, so if you need to conduct a maybe a more sophisticated or detailed search, then you could use the advanced search. Uh, and for our purposes, though, we're just going to do a quick search using the basic search bar here. Yesterday was Halloween, so I'm feeling a bit macabre. I've searched mass murder here. Not a very sophisticated search, but uh, it'll do for the purposes of this tutorial. So the very first thing you'll see is a research starter. Most searches will um, provide you with some kind of research starter. Typically, it is something like an encyclopedia entry. In this case, the Salem Press Encyclopedia. Um, those are almost always displayed first. But, uh, like I said earlier, this searches a wide variety of databases. So there are all different types of materials. For instance, books from our catalog, uh, academic journal articles from any number of different databases. In this case, this is searching a database called Business Source Complete. Periodicals, so magazines, and newspapers, etc. Um, an ebook in this case. Government publications, videos, all types of materials you can find using OneSearch. So let's just take a look at a few and then we'll look at different ways we can tinker with the search. So I mentioned a minute ago that we have a book here. This is a book in our general collection. So this is something, a physical book that you could check out and take home. Uh, it says status available. So that means it, sh it should be on the shelf ready for you to pick up and check out. And then lastly, we've got the call number here. So if you, you would write that down so that you would know the appropriate floor to go to and then um, the appropriate section. If uh, I wanted a bit more information about this book, I can always click the title to find, for instance, the uh, official subject terms. Sometimes you'll see um, the table of contents uh, and other information. In any case, you can find out more information by clicking the title there. This second result you'll see is an academic journal article. Again, if I wanted a bit more information, for instance, if I wanted to get the summary or abstract of the article before reading the actual full text of it, then I could do that. Um, if I want the full text, I simply click right here, PDF full text. But I want to point out a couple of nice things. When you click the title of an item in OneSearch, it gives you a number of tools over here on the right. And one that uh, students, faculty, staff, find particularly useful is the site function. So if I click that, you'll see that it will it will format the reference for me in the appropriate style. So if I needed the MLA style, then there you have it. So again, we have all sorts of uh, documents here, or types of materials here. Let's look at some of the limits we can set. Again, if I just want full text materials, I could do that. Let's say I only wanted peer-reviewed materials, I could do that. And of course, that's going to narrow it down considerably. You can narrow by publication date. And then over here, there are many other ways you can limit your search. One useful one is source types. Um, so if I only wanted videos, for instance, I could click videos and then update. And we have videos from a variety of different databases that we could access. To access a video, you simply click the title here and then there will be a link under URL where you can watch the video online. Again, there are many other ways to limit uh, by official subject, for instance, publisher, publication, language, geography, location. Location could be a useful one. Um, if, for instance, 
you only wanted books that you could physically check out and take home, then you might come here to location and say, give me books only from the general collection. So that's uh, a very quick overview of how to use OneSearch. Uh, if you ever have any trouble, remember you can contact us via the library's homepage uh, in any number of ways, our chat service, email, phone. We're always happy to help with research assistance.